I'm Yvette Rios, and tonight I'm throwing a little dinner party for some friends in honor of Earth Day. And it's all gonna be about reuse, so I'm coming to one of my favorite places for great secondhand finds, the Chelsea Goodwill. And what I love about the Goodwill is that any donations you give them and proceeds from any purchases go towards programs that help people with disabilities and other barriers to employment. So let's see what they have. Okay, so the first thing that I need for my dinner party are plates, because you can't have a dinner party without plates. It doesn't matter if they match or not, so I'm just gonna pick ones that are white and about the same size. And I'm gonna do um, some smaller salad plates for on top of these. And these, I'm actually gonna paint the entire plate so I can start with any color that I want. Great. See, I always find what I need when I come to the Goodwill. So now I'm gonna take all this stuff back to the house and see what I can make of it. So I just got back from the Goodwill and I'm ready to start painting some plates. You're gonna need some deco art gloss enamels paint. This is great paint for a glass and for ceramics. What I love about it is once the paint is dry, you stick it in the oven for 30 minutes at 350 degrees and it bakes it on so it's nice and durable. So I'm gonna start with my little baby plates and these will be the salad plates that sit on top. So to kind of unify them, I'm gonna paint the entire plate. And you want to just kind of rub down your plate with rubbing alcohol. It's just gonna make sure that there's no oil at all on the plate, so the paint really adheres well. So then I'm going to mix some colors. And what I love to do is I love to use one of these little handy dandy egg cartons. So I'm gonna just pour some avocado green in there. And then I'm gonna add a little citron, citron green. And then I'm gonna mix that up. You just wanna make sure you do a nice light coat for your first coat. That's about it for the first coat. And you can see there's some little gaps in there, but once it dries, you hit it with another coat and it gets nice and smooth. So, on to the dinner plates. I've got my handy dandy clip art, my starfish. I printed it on sticker paper. And basically this is paper you can find at any you know, office supply store. They come in packs of like 50 or 100. You just pop this in your inkjet printer and it just prints right on it. Wait, ooh, I can't peel it off yet because I've got to first cut out my starfish. But the trick is to pick an image that has a really good silhouette. Use something that's really obvious. People can go, oh my gosh, look, that's a starfish. How cool. So I've got my <laughs> starfish cut out like that. So I'm gonna lay that down like this. And then I'm gonna stick a little bit of tape in there just to seal up my stencil. I'm just going to peel. Ooh, before I do that though, I should clean this plate too. It gets all the grease off of it. And I'm just gonna peel this guy off. So I'm going to kind of place it sort of half on, half off my plate. Tape down the inside first, because the plate kind of has those ridges to it. And what you wanna do is just make sure that you really scrape around the stencil, because you want the stencil to really, really, really stick. And now it's time to paint. And I'm just gonna paint inside of the stencil. So I've got my first coat, so I would let this dry and then hit it with another coat. And in the meantime, I'm gonna recoat my little salad plate. Really, two coats should be plenty to cover this. Perfect. There we go. And so now I'm gonna do my second coat on my starfish, and then that's ready to dry. So now, we just need to wait. The paint dry hustle. Our paint is dry. Is before you peel it off, you want to kind of use an exacto blade like this and just cut around it. And you'll find that this sticker paper really sticks, which is a good thing because you don't want excessive bleeding. Ooh, that sounds horrible. I see. I have a little, a little uh, schmutz here, so I'm just going to take this. And we've got our starfish done. Done, done. For our salad plate, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. So for that, I'm just gonna use some white paint. Uh, I'm gonna use kind of a, a corally look as my sort of guideline. So I'm just gonna start with the, the branch, if you will, of my coral. And do like little branches off of it and stuff so it looks coral-esque. But you can see how cool that looks when you add it with your starfish themed plate. Easy peasy. So for more easy peasy painting ideas, check out decoart.com and for clever ways to reuse 
secondhand stuff, go to the Goodwill's website or check them out on Facebook and Twitter. And now I'm going to juggle them. <laughs> Just kidding, that would be a disaster.